guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel thank you guys so much for even joining us today and if you guys are returning subscribers friends everything thank you so much for coming back um so i basically just wanted to get into self-care because i get asked a lot um i feel like people don't think that there's room for yourself when you're in nursing school and work and i basically wanted to kind of tell you how to incorporate things into your everyday life where you're not spending money to go get a massage when that money could be used to tuition gas you know real things you know we cute but we also balling on a budget you feel me so i just want to give you guys some tips that would kind of improve your everyday life um doing homework all day being in school all day um work kids can really stress you out and i think it's important that you find something inexpensive quick um and that can just basically up your day really quick without having to spend a bunch of money so these are some of the products i use to who saw me out make me feel better and you'll realize a lot of it is just stress relieving stuff you know you'll see okay so my first product that i just got and i absolutely adore oh by the way guys this sweater you guys were asking me about it says nurse um this sweater is actually from etsy i will put a link below to where you guys can get this from i actually ordered a few more things so i will put the link below for you guys this is a large I like my sweaters to have room in them in case I want to wear a scrub top under it or, you know, just layer up. I get them larges, so yeah. I'm actually on my way to work, but um, in like 30 minutes, but I just wanted to film this for you guys. But yeah, super comfy. I can do a lot. So you're good. <laughs> so um, yeah, first thing that I love, I just got this. This is um, like a facial steamer kind of thing. It, but yeah facial steamer so basically what you do is you fill up the back fill up the back with water and you like put it in the water that way put it in here and then you just basically sit back and just enjoy um i put like some drops of eucalyptus in this so you can go to like um i actually found some at ulta that were like four bucks and they're aromatherapy um you can just take a few drops put it in here like I said, drop it in here and then just go for it. I usually run this thing about two or three times before I'm actually done. Um, I have like really dry skin sometimes um, and then I have really oily skin sometimes. So it's cool. I just use it. I, I don't really know what it's... It hasn't done anything to like harm my skin. Uh, not that I've seen. Now if it's working secretly, well, honey, that's on me. But um, yeah, this has been really cool. I really like using this. Um, basically, it's just steaming out your face. So I wash my face first, steam, and then I will put on a mask of Too Fatima because this was basically from her channel. Um, she went to Ulta and got this. And it's the Freeman Filling Beauty Anti-Stress Clay Mask. I love this. So it's blue, bright blue, smells good, and it's all about stress relief. And I actually do feel it when I put it on. Um, I just feel a lot more relaxed. And it says it's for all skin types. Granted, I don't really believe stuff like that, but you know, I have super, super, super sensitive skin, but I still wanted to try it anyways. And it's been working out great for me. So yeah, this is the Freeman clay mask and I'll link this below too. Um, love this, awesome. So I basically, like I said, wash my face, this one, then this one, um, and I'll just chill on my bed and watch like YouTube videos or um, do homework or whatever it's still relaxing you want to have this on so i love i love aromatherapy products all aromatherapy products i love so if they have eucalyptus in it that's a go because i'm always stressed out about something god knows what half the time but i love eucalyptus anything okay so i usually go to bath and body works for the wash uh, the body wash the lotion the pillow mist all of that so I kind of like set my own little mood in my room. I close all the windows. I put my diffuser on. This I got from, I think I can get from like Target, um, maybe like 20 bucks. You can also get it on Amazon. I've seen them as cheap as $15. And sometimes you can get two, so that's a plus. But yeah, so this is just my diffuser. Put it, so I have one that is Happiness. This is from Target, it's from Chesapeake Bay. Um, it has lavender and some other stuff that I don't know how to say, but it smells really good. Um, you know, 
mood improvement. So I have this one's happiness. I mix this one with the tea tree essential oil. Um, this one is eucalyptus, so I mix these two together. This one is from Ulta, this one is from Target. Um, I wanna say this one was like $10, this one was like four or five. Obviously in size, you can tell. But um, I mix these two in my diffuser and basically it literally smells like I'm at like Massage Envy. It's just like a whole, whew, super enjoyable. I think it's really important to have a diffuser because um, I just know that aromatherapy really just like calms you down. So regardless of whatever scent you get, I think it's just being in the, in the, in the atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? It's just great, um, it definitely improves my mood. I will use it when I come home after work sometimes or if I'm doing work or um, like a test or something, I will turn my diffuser on and it kind of just moves out me out and I really, really like it. Bath and Body Works Obsession. This one is the Aromatherapy Stress Relief Moisturizing Body Wash. I love this one. So sometimes I will take those um, aromatherapy like drops and I will put them in the shower and then turn the shower up super high and close my door to my bathroom and just let it steam up because it's like going into a sauna with aromatherapy. Super awesome, super relaxing, I'm obsessed. So that's one way you can do it, um, just to get the steam up and get the smell in the, in the bathroom and then if you just want to go in there and just take a long shower do that or if you want to be conservative and save the planet and however you plan on doing that you guys can do it in your bathtub or put the diffuser in your bathroom obviously if it has a safe space for it you can do that if not you might want to try my idea um but yeah i love doing this so i'll put a few drops of that in there and let it steam up for the aromatherapy um i put this on second because i wash my body with dove unscented you know a little bar soap and then i do this one because it's just for the relaxation of it all not really so much for it to clean me because i can't put it in a lot of places but yeah i just really put it up here and i just whew, breathe it in breathe it out love this one this one is the lotion so this is the aromatherapy stress relief eucalyptus body cream love this one um until i had found or up until i had found the small version of this one um because for some reason it's always sold out when i want to get it i had actually um, been putting this in my backpack because at work I get stressed out obviously it's work so I will put this in my backpack and I would use it um, just throughout the day to like loose on me and also with um, some of my patients that I get um, if I know that they're like you know I work with kids so if I want to calm them down or it's time for them to unwind I will put some of this on their hand granted I know they're not allergic to it but I will put this on them and just like give them a little massage on the hands or like temples and I always find at the end of going to sleep which is a plus because I got things to do <laughs> so yeah this one's super helpful for myself I just put some on before bed um, and yeah kind of does the trick so this is all part of my my woosa this is sleep aromatherapy I love this one because um, now it doesn't make me sleepy but it does have lavender and like chamomile in it so I love the smell of it it just it's unwinding it's what it is it doesn't make me sleepy it just unwinds me I will do this after like a bubble bath or something just to kind of like it, I'm not, it doesn't make me sleepy it's just kind of like all right and I get the same effect from the eucalyptus one so honestly it's just the smell is different and sometimes I just want to smell something different but I love this one it's the sleep one um all of these ones for the most part the big body creams and lotions are like $15.50 at Bath and Body Works granted you never really end up paying that price because they always have sales and stuff um so yeah you can normally get like a buy three get one free buy two get one free you save money because it's really not as much as it is on the label a sale is always coming through guys I'm not gonna go pull it because it's just a lot but um I would recommend doing getting like some of the um, essential the aromatherapy candles at Bath and Body Works um, they go on sale from time to time but they are really helpful because you can just kind of burn them if you don't have a diffuser or you don't want to buy one you can always buy a candle and just burn that um, they do have like the eucalyptus same things as the lotions and the body washes they have it in a candle form so I find it to be really helpful um, if you like your, you know, you just want to turn off all your lights, light a candle, and then just use your lotions and just kind of like, you know, get that ambiance with a little candle light. Super cute, and you know, it gives you the same effect ultimately. So if you don't have a diffuser, you can always go buy a candle. I believe they run about $22.50 per candle, but again, they always have some type of sale and discount, so 
you know, you can maneuver it. You usually get two for the price of one. It's Bath and Body Works. There's always some type of deal. And I also want to suggest to you guys trying out a massage. Now, I know that they are kind of pricey sometimes and, you know, not everybody can do this all the time. I don't do this all the time, but um, when I do, you know, I really try to enjoy it. Um, I have a membership to Massage Envy. So I pay like 60 bucks a month, which I actually discontinue because I don't go every month. So it kind of just like, eh. I just build up time. So at this point, I think I have like 20 hours of massage time. So I just, you know, I have it, but I don't use it all the time. But I think it's really helpful to have like go get a massage or take your partner to go get a massage or you guys do that together because it's super therapeutic just to have someone just release all the stress from you and you get to like lay there with your aromatherapy and you're like half naked but like it's fine because you feel good and the whole point is to feel good um so if you've never gotten a massage before i would really recommend it um normally they run about like between 50 and like 70 bucks your first time um, and then after that, you know, it's up in the air, but I would really recommend it like get it before a test or a couple days before you take like the NCLEX or test in your class um, Or if you're just really stressed out, I would really recommend it to you guys um, another tip that I would recommend um, I think it's really helpful to if It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I think it's really cool just to do stuff by yourself I didn't really get into that or understand it until um, Nurse Mo, most, um, I'm sure most of you guys if you follow me you know who that is. Um, she's my mentor but I really keep up with her when it comes to self care because she's super big on that. Um, it doesn't have to be anything drastic, granted sis travels the entire world and she's working. But um, get into just doing stuff by yourself. And I, I'm, <laughs> coming from me that says a lot because I don't like doing stuff by myself really because this day and age people are crazy and I'm always paranoid and it's just a lot. But just get into doing stuff by yourself and for yourself. I was in a relationship for a long time where I was basically like, oh, can you come with me to go to the Target or the mall or whatever? Like, come eat with me. And ever since I've been single, I honestly feel like my self-care has been so much better because one, my confidence has gone up. So I'm not really worried about people around me and stuff like that. I do have moments where I'm like, oh my God, like, this is kind of weird, but do stuff by yourself it's super therapeutic if you have an outdoor mall near you go walk that if it's a nice day outside um you know go go eat by yourself i know that's like what you want me to what but like go eat by yourself and enjoy time by yourself it sounds a little nuts sometimes and you're like girl i would never but you would be so surprised how just calming it is to just get a spot outside on the patio get a glass of wine Get your food and just eat by yourself and enjoy your own space i love that now and it's like something i really enjoy doing happy hour by myself girl yes like i'm all for it so just find things that you really enjoy um i know some people are really into reading books in their self-care time or well, i'm not a book reader i do enough book reading in class i don't want to read no more so yeah, Miss Jackson not really be with the, the reading, but I would like to get into that. It's just not something I find to be very woo right now, so it's not something I really do. Um, but yeah, so those are some of the tips that I have for just relaxing and enjoying your space and your time. Um, just remember when you're doing your self-care that no matter how grand it is or how little it is, if you feel good about it, then it is self-care. I don't care what any of these blogs and these big timers have to say, you know, you don't have to go to the beach and sit out with a big, you know, a glass of Chardonnay or, you know, it doesn't have to be extravagant. It just has to be something that you like. Um, anything that you enjoy is self-care. Granted, just, you know, I'm not, I'm not endorsing like the bad stuff. You do whatever you want on your free time. I don't. I, but you know whatever it may be enjoy it um you know just just take care of yourself because as a nursing student and a nurse it is really hard to find time to just enjoy yourself and enjoy your space and I think it's important to just you know we do so much for other people that we need to make time for ourselves and remember that we can't help others if we don't help ourselves so throughout those 12s or if you work all week like I do um to remember to squeeze in a little bit of time for yourself even if it's a trip to starbucks to grab coffee girl self-care because 
coffee saves everything and fixes everything and I don't care what she says. Coffee gonna save me from a bad relationship one day. Just watch. So um, yeah, that's my tips for self-care. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys would be so kind as to like, comment, and subscribe, um, I will have more videos coming for you guys. And um, yeah, DM me if you guys have other topics you want to talk about and we will get into it. Thanks guys. Bye.